Welcome back. Today we're shaking it up a bit. Try not to overwhelm myself and you with the underwater horror. Today we're looking at just general scary things. We're looking at a subreddit called Oddly Terrifying. Let, let's let's equalize the viewer base here because right now it's a half of people that are scared of water and half that are just kind of amused by this half. So uh, today let's all feel uncomfortable. I took a little peek through these. I'm familiar with this subreddit and some of this is a little disturbing. So like this is kind of like a warning, I guess. Don't you know, if you're easily creeped out or whatever, there might be someone here that make you feel like, eh, you know? Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this platform feels familiar, immediately alert an MTA employee. If you see something, say something. What is this? Enhance. New York City something? I don't know. I, it might just be a sign for fun. It might be some sort of escape room or some sort of theme. But this is a real sign alerting of a real phenomenon. Can you imagine? Especially seeing this and feeling like you've seen it before. Um, that's not what I expected from the top post of the month. I was expecting things that looked visually creepy, but that was a, a psychological creepy. Whoa. I'm sorry, what? No freaking way. That's like a normal, like, inch. Okay, this, the, I assume the carpet is super fluffy, but still. What? That looks so weird. Cats have skulls. His skull had to fit under there, at least. Oh, ew. <laughs> uh, that's a very advanced scarecrow. Scares off the people, too. The sourdough turning into a hell cauldron. Bro, don't do this to me. I love sourdough. Ah, oh, I can't even look at that. That made my skin crawl. I've seen this filter. It, like, adds movement to pictures. So you can use it on, on pictures of people that have passed away, and they can, like, move their face and blink and smile. A teensy bit cool this much, but the rest of it, that's creepy, right? That's creepy. Just the, whether they're alive or not, just having a picture kind of look at you like, hey, <laughs> what's going on? Gandhi statue after some prankster added red lights to the eyes? San Francisco? Okay, that's actually hilarious. Because that actually is pretty creepy. But it's just so funny that all they did, like, the statue is kind of creepy. It, the lighting in the clouds make it look super villainous. That's so funny someone did that. Video of a salamander growing from a single cell is terrifying. No, I don't like this already. This feels gross. I do not like this. I don't care if some of you are like, this is so cool. This is so disturbing to watch. Get it out of the way, I'll say it for you. Isn't nature so cool? How cool is that, that we have that on film? Get it out of the way. I did not like that. That made me feel very gross. Oh, no, long, wrong one. Crab. Oh, what the? What the heck? It's like a trilobite. What's that called? What is that thing, a terabyte? Ah, that's crazy. The statue with a beehive for a head. Ooh, whoa. That's a monster from freaking Hunt Showdown. McDonald's in the early 1980s. What the? Nothing like sitting on a patty that's just staring at your butt crack. That's great. This poor child looks terrified. He was pretty self-aware for being the 80s. He's like, I'm literally in a cage that looks like a demented burger. Why would I want to be in here? You haven't thought of the smell, huh? Last one in is a rotten egg. Timmy, what have you done? This isn't oddly terrifying, this is just funny. Again, not terrifying. This is what we like to call a mirror. Where are all the trees? Where is this? Where do they have a giant smoky like this? And why is it just staring at these people who are just chilling? Deer crossing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What the heck? Dude, deer are freaking stupid. 
You know, I was talking to someone about this, but it's funny how, like, if you're in the woods and there's a deer, I mean, if you're a hunter, you know the tricks, whatever. But, like, for if you're, if you're hiking and you see a deer and say you wanted to get closer to it for whatever reason, those things have freaking laser ears, right? You step on a teensy twig from, like, half a mile away and they bolt, right? But they'll run into a car. I uh, decided to go for a walk on the beach and got freaked out when I thought I ran into a KKK meeting. Turns out they're just closed beach umbrellas. Was it? I know it's part of the point, but like, we're living in the 2020s, my guy. Like, what phone did you take this on? Or is this photo really just that old? The iPhone that came out 10 years ago takes a better photo than this. By a long shot. Dog mouth under leaf blower? Ugh. Mosquito flew in front of the lens. That's not how cameras work. That's not what that would look like. Cameras don't work that way. Yeah, yeah, that's not how depth of field works. That's Photoshop. Maybe it flew by the lens and someone Photoshopped it to make it look this way, look, make it look further. Or maybe someone just added a mosquito onto this picture. But this is not how the picture came out. Stop lying. Otherwise, creepy. Giant catfish choked on giant turtle in a German lake. Sheesh, that thing's big. See, where I'm from, we only get tiny catfish, right? They're just only ever this big. I only recently found out that they actually can get this big in some places, which is crazy. And they got these big gulpy gulp mouths. I hope the turtle's okay. I'm assuming not, since they are leaving it in there for a photo op and haven't pulled it out, but maybe, I don't know. I guess probably not, yeah. Turtle's probably not alive, but we'll say he is. Tried to get a cute pic of my husband and daughter while stuck in a parking lot during a severe thunderstorm. Is it just the lighting's creepy, or is it this shape in the background? I mean, don't get me wrong, he looks kind of creepy, and this looks maybe a little creepy, but, like, not enough to be one of the top posts here. Yeah, I guess it's just that he looks creepy. And I guess because she looks kind of creeped out, too. Yeah. Still, though, I feel like that's just a, a lighting issue. The reflection of the fan blade is a Japanese ghost woman. <laughs> That's not oddly terrifying, that's funny. Meat baby, come on! Tati, the cybernetic dog, built in France in the 50s by an unknown creator who was found in an antique shop in Paris. Why'd you gotta give it teeth and red eyes, you know? The rest of it really isn't that creepy, but the teeth and the red eyes. Don't do that. Panda caretakers at a zoo? No, that's just funny. That's just funny. <laughs> I did not expect that. That made me actually jump. Oh my lord. I thought it was the sound. I thought the, th the sound was the punchline, but that was not the punchline. It was the freaking wide mouth scream. Okay. <laughs> 1968 Ukraine made a parade. Yep, this is uh, every child from every horror movie right here. This is the most murderous look I've ever seen. This is Pennywise as a kid. See, whenever I make that sort of connection, I like to look at the comments, see how far down my joke is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number 10, boys. Number 10. I don't know why I like doing that, because really it just shows me how not creative I am, but at the same time, it makes me feel connected to the people out there on the internet. MRI of a baby in its mother's womb? Oh my, I can't even look at that, that's freaky. Yikes! That's a normal MRI? Put the thing back where it came from or so help me. <laughs> Not a baby in a womb, just a regular baby outside the womb. Source me, I see these every day. I'm a pediatric radiologist. Wow. Because that's just a regular MRI of a baby. That's so weird. What, what does the MRI like that look like? Look from that angle, look like I'm just a, an adult. Is it that creepy, or is it just something about when them when they're a baby, they look friggin' demented like that? Here's McDonald's in the 80s again. What was everyone doing? See, she looks kind of scary. Every, everything was scary back then. Oddly terrifying cat belly. Ooh, that makes me feel not good. Demon blanket. Ooh, that's a cool picture. Just the wind hitting it just right. Good timing, but like, man. That's a cool picture. That's just a timing thing. A friend of mine just sent me this. Hey, look, it's Sonic the Hedgehog from the original design where they gave him a human mouth for some reason. 
Armored Diving Suit. I'm talking about the movie, Sonic the Hedgehog. Armored Diving Suit from 1878. This is some Bioshock stuff. Yeah, dude. Pav, you live in Egypt. Pav? I would not get in that elevator. Freaky fingers. I think I might have seen something like this before. That's cool. Okay, that's cool. You could play your creepy music over it. I'll just mute you. That's cool. The fact that you can bend the joints, that's really cool. That's a super clever piece of creation there, guy. Uh, totally not man-eating robots. The military made a robot that can eat organisms for fuel. All right, I do not like this picture paired with that. They got phones for heads. That's crazy. This is a bear without its hair. Bro, that's, that looks like an entirely new creature. Dang, that's crazy. Homer Simpson, no thank you. Whoa, what the heck? Whoa. What is that? Flatworms? When a flatworm gets cut in half, they regrow the missing part. But the cut part also regrows. Okay, dude, how have I not heard about these? This guy asks, what happens if I cut many pieces? So if you just cut one into like shred one. Um, Thomas Hunt Morgan asked himself the same question. He cut a worm into 279 pieces and he found himself with 279 little worms. Okay, this is this is for planaria worms, which is a different species of flatworm, but still, oh my goodness. I don't know if I've ever heard about this creature before. So it's like a, it's a flatworm and it apparently eats even things sh with the shell. Okay, that's a pretty good one to end on, but we'll go for one or two more. Heard you all like bug traps, so here's one for mosquitoes. Yikes. That's one day. One day. So day five. The great invention of the mosquito magnet. Check that out. Wow. That's disgusting. Meat rat. No thanks. A woman wearing a special mask for fighting depression? How do you breathe in that thing, huh? Because it, it doesn't just block your mouth. It, like, closes your nostrils. So was the mask just to, like... Make you lose oxygen and pass out, and then that was what they thought cured depression? Different times. Okay, last one. A dragonfly cleaning itself. This is absolutely disgusting and terrifying to me. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna go in the camp of disgusting. I don't know about terrifying, but gross. Right? I want it to be cute, but it's not. It's not cute. All right. <laughs> well, hopefully you were uncomfortable as I was this video because some of those, some of those were whatever, but some of those really got me. I think the one that got me the most is that bird that made that horrible noise. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this in in our own weird sort of way. You know, um, if you like me doing this sort of thing, let me know. I'm down to keep doing the water thing. I think. At this rate, I'll probably eventually desensitize myself. I think I already in lots of ways have, at least to looking at it. I don't think I'm cured of my thalassophobia as far as going into the water goes. I think that's probably more or less the same. But as far as looking at it, I can feel it. You know, I can feel that I'm starting to be more and more desensitized to it. So I can't do that for forever. So I want to, you know, branch out and see what else what can get reactions out of me like this this actually some of these actually got me in ways that the water stuff hasn't gotten me in a little while so i hope you enjoyed watching this i will see you guys next time